Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Jacobs. I'm a doctor of physical therapy and I'm the inventor of advanced soft tissue release as their specialty. I'm also a cancer survivor and I used to suffer from chronic migraines, headaches, pain and fatigue before I invented Aster Special. All right, Ramondo, tell me what happened to your, uh, your neck, your back, your head, your knee, and your plantar fasciitis when, yeah. before coming here. Um, also, the sharp migraines I'd always oh. deal with. Mm -hmm. um, the, so, I, in 2016, on my birthday, my 22nd mm -hmm. birthday, I mm -hmm. tore muscle in my back, which... Mm -hmm. How did you do that? I was uh, doing pull-ups, mm -hmm. I uh, fatigued to the point where I couldn't uh, use my muscles to lift myself up, so I did a kipping pull-up. I used my momentum to try to get the final rep in. Yeah. yeah, and mm. while doing that, my momentum, um, I couldn't control my momentum, and I twisted, and that just... Mm. You strain your muscles. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So that was like uh, 2016, what month? Uh, May. May 2016, we are in October 2018, so it's a little bit over two years. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, what symptoms you had, uh, how much pain did you experience, and where? So, when that happened, it was, say, like a, a nine or ten, so basically, mm -hmm. the tear in my, my back hurt a lot of overcompensation, mm -hmm. and I got a lot of issues with my feet, my mm -hmm. knees. I you start to compensate. Yeah. Okay. I have, I have plantar fasciitis in both both my feet, mm -hmm. um, patellofemoral syndrome in mm -hmm. both knees. So when you start to compensate, you just affected the different body part. Mm -hmm. What happened to your hips? My hip. And your back. My hip. Uh, I messed it up. I'm not sure if I tore it, but I definitely, mm -hmm. I was doing a correction exercise actually on my knees that my physical therapist had given me. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was doing like a leg raise mm -hmm. and uh, I just felt right here in my left hip, I heard a <laughs> crack. Okay. Yeah. And or, uh, super, you, you, super painful. I couldn't walk for, for mm -hmm. a few days and mm -hmm. uh, it's been been bothering me ever since. Got a lot of okay. scar tissue built up in there, and it's and tough to area. walk. Mm -hmm. So for the last two years, um, can you tell me what kind of treatment did you receive? I've I've seen about seven different physical therapists. Okay. Um, none with any results that I, I like. Um, mm -hmm. Tried massage for about a massage. year. Okay. Mm -hmm. I did chiropractic chiropractors for about a year wow. mm -hmm. and uh, tried acupuncture okay. about five times and I knew it wasn't going to help my mm -hmm. particular issue. Okay. Done cupping about ten, ten mm -hmm. times and it, no no benefit for me. Okay, so uh, nothing give you long term or pain relief? No. Yeah, sorry about that. So uh, during this time, uh, what, 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 how does pain affect in your function? Like uh, your walk and your sleep, your normal activity, what happened to you? It, it affected my day-to-day -day life. I had trouble walking long distances whatsoever. I just mm -hmm. had to be inside a lot just because mm -hmm. I couldn't walk long distances okay. without getting the knee flare-ups because my kneecaps get out of the groove because of the, the mm -hmm. patellofemoral syndrome. Mm -hmm. So I'd have to wear a KT tape on my knees and mm -hmm. Make sure I have that, or else they'd get out the groove every single day. Mm -hmm. So I dealt with that every day. Um, so walking was affecting quality of life, or about sleeping, your normal activity. Yeah, I couldn't. I couldn't drive. I couldn't work. I couldn't oh. wash dishes, wash sure clothes for mm -hmm. so long. Mm -hmm. Like it was just throwing off all of my mechanics from head to toe. Mm -hmm. um, so you had muscle spasm everywhere, head to toe. <laughs> head to toe. So, uh, can you tell me, like, uh, how, uh, how much pain did you experience, like, before coming? Uh, did you have constant pain? How much was the constant pain? And at worst, how much the pain increased for, uh, from 0 to 10 scale? Yeah, um, so I was in constant pain basically every day. Because, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, like I said, all these different issues going mm -hmm. on, if it wasn't, Going up up here, mm -hmm. it was going on down and, somewhere, and or my okay. knees, my hip. It would flare up somewhere. How much from zero to ten? Uh, constant pain. Constant pain, and say it'd always be at, like at a six. Six, mm -hmm. okay. Consistently. And uh, when it's flare up, how much it goes up to? 
Uh, about a nine and a half before okay. coming here, I was actually ready to go to the emergency room of how bad it was. Mm, yeah, sorry about that. So can you tell me a little bit more about your shoulders because before you I also saying, have yeah. forgot to mention I have two yeah. shoulder impingements from uh, yeah. mm. also trying to rehab mm. my back working yeah. on my core. Yeah. I um, tweaked mm. just tweaked my both my shoulders doing a correction exercise basically. Mm -hmm. um, did you have any numbness, tingling uh, in your shoulders? Yeah, um, ever since I got you, those that shoulder impingements. That uh, you hurt your back with? Yeah, that, mm -hmm. that was separate. The, mm -hmm. the shoulder impingements actually came from, I had these little mm -hmm. wrist weights on, mm -hmm. on my wrist and I, I lifted mm -hmm. them up like this and that actually mm -hmm. creates an impingement if mm -hmm. you use that motion. Um, so that flared up, got really bad, mm -hmm. developed a lot of scar tissue and basically have a lot of trouble raising my arms and okay. couldn't raise my arms really. Uh, had numbness and tingling down both arms. Uh, felt like circulation would get cut off, my mm -hmm. arms would go numb. Mm -hmm. Get like a sharp burning pain in mm -hmm. both arms. Can you show me like before we start Aster treatment, mm -hmm. how far you were able to raise your arms? So when before I first, the treatment? When yeah. I first got here, mm -hmm. I was about right here. Okay. Yeah, and uh, about Five minutes into working with you, I was already up to here. Okay, let's do it again. <laughs> yeah, like yeah, it's a now Full it's range natural of motion. motion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And good. I was stuck here before coming. Yeah. yeah. For for how long you were stuck in that range of motion? Uh, for Is a that while. from the original injury or just over time? Over time, it developed yeah. into less mm -hmm. range of motion, less range of motion, more muscle spasms, and scar and stuff like mm -hmm. that. So. Yeah. How many Aster treatments you had so far? I've had three. Three treatments. Three two-hour sessions. Yes. Okay. So, uh, three treatment. What happened after that? Like how you feel, your symptoms, your constant pain, function-wise. Can you give me an update of how you're doing after the three treatments? Yeah, I feel so much better. Um, mm -hmm. Everything from head to toe, the feet, knees, hip. Shoulders, back, mm -hmm. neck, uh, traps, all that is everything has improved a lot. I have more range of motion, mm -hmm. um, there's less pain, the mm -hmm. flare ups are way less frequent. Like I said, mm -hmm. I was in consistent pain okay. basically 24 7. So, uh, like you were saying before, you had consistent 6 out of 10 pain. Mm -hmm. After the three treatment, uh, do you have consistent pain or you don't have a consistent pain? No, it's pain? not. It's not consistent like it was it mm -hmm. comes it comes and goes but mm -hmm. it was felt like it was 24 7 before coming before, here so now okay. it, it comes and goes and i say mm -hmm. like five to seven times out of the day i'll feel a flare up here or mm -hmm. there but can you give me a little bit more information about the flare up how long and how much yeah it, uh, it lasts the flare up Definitely. there before or after? After the treatment. Okay, after, um, they're very short. They last like five, ten, not even ten seconds, five, six seconds. Okay, it's after. like a muscle spasm. Yeah, exactly. Okay, and uh, how much pain when you feel that? Um, after the treatment, like a, like a three. Okay, so you have it like a few or times two. a day. Yeah, mm -hmm. and before the treatment, like, can you explain to me the flare up, how long it used to last before? Um, wow. It depended on the day. It could have been all day. It could have been. So the flare up, not second, it just the entire day you've been like just constant. Yeah, I'd have to shut down, go mm -hmm. figure out what I can do that wouldn't yeah. hurt, like yeah. lay down or something. Mm -hmm. So how, how are you doing now? You're, because I remember when you came, you had that shovel, slow gait, and you were complaining of you're not getting sleep. How long you were not getting sleep uh, before coming? Is that for the last two years, or was it recently that really get bad? You know, I, it could have been about like a, a year and a half, honestly, you were not getting sleep. sleep. Okay. Let alone just... Mm -hmm. Even when I would sleep, it'd be 10 minutes, wake up from a spasm, 10 mm -hmm. minutes, wake up from a spasm, mm -hmm. be That's so exhausted, yeah. wake mm -hmm. up from a spasm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that that was my experience before coming here, but now I'm sleeping. After three treatments, how how is your sleep now? Sleeping a lot better. Mm -hmm. I'm actually getting, mm -hmm. I'm not waking up every 10 minutes, I'm actually getting to a deeper sleep where That's I can so wake beautiful. up with energy. Yeah. Last night, how, how many hours did you sleep uh, without waking up? 
five, but it's not five every months. ten minutes. Or you know, five hours. I slept five hours, but that was on me because I stayed up a little too late. Mm -hmm. But uh, that's not bad, actually. Five hours without waking up in the middle—that's a very good progress. Yeah. 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 That's good. So what do you think, like what you would say to patient or therapist, like after three aster treatment, how that made change to your, to your body and, you know, affecting your uh, function? Any, anybody that's suffering from like any trauma, soft tissue issues, mm -hmm. any previous injuries that's limited in like your range of motion, mm -hmm. creating all these different issues mm -hmm. going on, say this is the best option you have mm -hmm. to, to get treated not just mm -hmm. some relief but actually get mm -hmm. better <laughs> that's good yeah. yeah can you tell a difference between aster and you, you tried everything physical therapy chiropractor yeah. acupuncture what do you think was different uh, that you have not seen on with the other treatment mm -hmm. you're actually targeting the issues and not the 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 source of the problem yeah when I go to my doctors, it's, they would offer me things like pain management classes, which are just trying okay. to teach you how to live with... Uh, with pain. Yeah. We want you to be there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sorry about that. Yeah. And what about the therapy that you had before? What's the difference between the physical therapy you had before and Aster treatment? The physical therapy, I, I felt absolutely no benefit from it. The mm -hmm. strengthening, stretching... Mm -hmm. um, Tried those electric magnetic pulses. Yeah, that's that a they temporary offer. pain relief, electric yeah. stimulation. He, any anything that they've they've offered, it's a very very short term relief, and it will come back within the day. Mm -hmm. And um, with this treatment, it's what you fix, you fix. It doesn't come back the next day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the improvement that you noticed from your first treatment, it was lasting. I think yeah, it's great. I think it does mm -hmm. everything you. Mm -hmm promise it will do. Um, mm -hmm. I think it works and I wish I would have tried it a long time ago. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm glad I heard about you and I think anyone that's suffering from mm -hmm. soft tissue issues or anything mm -hmm. similar to that, you should definitely come mm -hmm. see you mm -hmm. and uh, it's definitely worth it and mm -hmm. you're not going to find these this type of help from your mm -hmm. primary care doctor or anything mm -hmm. like that. you got to go outside the box and mm -hmm. Try something new, and I think you're definitely onto something. So, yeah, really appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Feel free to subscribe to my channel to get helpful tips on how to relieve pain. And if you are a healthcare provider and interested to be ASTER certified, uh, you can follow the link below. Uh, you will get information on how to register for ASTER online class. Uh, there is over uh, 40 studies that support ASTER treatment model. And also there is uh, over uh, 400 study that utilized by ASTER treatment and feel free to check over more over 220 videos that most of them actually real treatment videos uh, we'll see you soon